Welcome to a new daily top ask Reddit video. Today's topic. Men of Reddit, what's the best response to, haha you have a small penis. You want the money or not? Well it's only 3 inches, but it smells like a foot. Knew a couple of guys in the service who leaned into it. President of the small PP club. I'm not only the president. I'm a member. Hung like a stud hamster. My first wife was rather admired by several guys in my division. They asked how I managed to land her, me being a fugly looking dude. I told them, I can lick my eyebrows without asterisk taking my glasses off. A friend of mine always claimed to be hung like a bull, frog. He always nailed the paws. Never failed to crack me up. That's my clitoris mom. My biology professor said don't take steroids, unless you want a small pee pee. Goes for guys and girls. I think they actually only shrink your balls. I heard it's because you add so much testosterone your balls. Where testosterone is produced apparently. Eventually realize, oh there's enough there already. So we don't need to produce as much. Then they basically get lazy and shrink like an untrained muscle. But I give no guarantee for this. I'm not even sure if steroids have that much to do with testosterone, just pick that up somewhere. Only when I look at you. Well, I must be on your mind a lot. Edit. This guy edited the comment. The original comment read, that's what happens when I look at you. Quote, damn lol. Rich coming from someone who doesn't even have a penis to begin with. Quote, my dad has a penis though. Then go fuck him, is what I'd say. I might have a needle dick but I fuck like a sewing machine. Can speak for some women but fucking like a sewing machine sounds like a nightmare. It will leave you in stitches. Hey, my eyes are up here. I was in the pool. It's time we raise more awareness for shrinkage. It's not much but it's honest work. IDK why this is so funny, does it even make sense? In the Grand Canyon even a Boeing 747 looks tiny. Triple H. Your mum doesn't seem to care. This is the classic. Everybody knows this one, and they might rib you for unoriginality. But some things become a classic because there's just nothing that tops it. It's the bread and butter of comebacks. Your dad likes it. Quote. Your mom said it's bigger than your dad's. Quote. Your dad said it's smaller than your mom's. Quote. Some very funny replies but if you want a serious answer, like. Nothing. Like the instant you try to respond to that, you've already lost. You're just engaging in playground bullshit and look as stupid as they do. As the saying goes, don't get in fights with stupid people. They'll drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. Don't wrestle with a pig. You'll both get covered in mud, but the pig actually likes that. Who told you? Your sister or your mom? Had to be one of them because your dad was impressed. Detach it and slap them in the face with it. I woke up this morning with a bad hangover. And my penis was missing again. This happens all the time. It's detachable. Music score detachable penis musical note. Double it and give it to the next person. Thanks. I got it half off. Up your ass you would think it's a foot. Smells like a foot. You make her gag by the size. I make her gag by the smell. We're not the same. It's difficult to impress someone who's seen a million of them. If someone is laughing at and making fun of you for something that you have no control over. Put them out of your life. They are toxic and a generally horrible person. Or your mom said it's bigger than your dad's. UHM. Having a small dick is made fun of everywhere every single day. In all entertainment forms, movies, TV shows, talk shows, stand up. It is normalized to body shame small dicked men and has always been. Or bald men. Or short men. The list goes on. The body positivity movement only focuses on fat women which, incidentally, is something they do have control over. There are a lot of extremely fucked up things that were completely normalized in the 20s or 30s or even 90s you know, doesn't make them less fucked up. You forgot to type, asking for a friend. Yes, but it has a lot of sentimental value. Says the woman with no penis at all. Going for the easy win, I see. GGEZPP. That's the amount I am offering. Take it or leave it. Lean into it. Yeah I thought it was a pube until I pissed out of it. Quote. Doctors labeled me unknown sex because they couldn't find it. For sex they just wrote down, good luck. Quote. Literally how I counted bullies with my rock bottom self esteem. Good fucking luck trying to hurt me more than I hurt myself. And yet you apparently keep looking at it. I'm late to this. But I had a friend from South Texas that always said, yeah. But it's cute and I grew it myself. That's the best answer. 
It might be small but it's as soft as a sole. This was like a bowl of chicken soup for me, warmed my innards. Hole up. Underscore. I said to her, geez you got a big pussy. Geez you got a big pussy. She said, why did you say that twice? I said, I didn't. Quote. This isn't even his final form. Yeah. I wore it down to a nub fucking hose like you. LMAO. Pregnant pause. So as I was saying. Don't acknowledge it. Just continue on like that person doesn't matter and what they say doesn't bother you. They are throwing mud. And the second you throw it back you are locked into a needless interaction that's only going to be. Negative. Ha ha ha. I assumed that you felt body shaming was not acceptable. But now that I know you support it. And then you insult them for physical flaws you know they can't control. Or even better, insult them for the ones they can.